What is going on guys? Wiser here bringing you the recap of the last war for Invicta. Uh, it was a random matchup against once again the Inconceivables. <laughs> These guys we've the 2.0 family has matched up now with three times uh, with the Inconceivables in maybe a week and a half. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> first again time against Invicta, uh, Invicta 1, second time is 2.0, 2.01, third time is a charm and Inconceivables came away with the win here, 60-60-64, uh, so congratulations guys, uh, this is actually a really cool group of guys, um, kind of chat with a few of them on uh, the YouTube channel and whatnot, uh, seemed like a really, really good growing um, clan, they're learning a lot, learning very fast, uh, coming up on the fair play scene, so uh, again, congrats on Inconceivables, uh, Invicta definitely felt a little bit short on some things that they don't usually do see we just uh should have started at the top there but missed three of the nines and then uh missed any stars on number one which would have really helped all they also missed the stars on robots though um however did a better job at cleaning the board i think home star was the only one they missed and that definitely you know town all nine uh misses were the difference in score so that's what it came down to but uh great war nonetheless got a few replays to jump in and to show you uh it's pretty late it's trying to make this a fairly quick one mr big dog brings a uh, standard shattered lalo i love these <clears throat> so funnels created two golems go in very, very meticulous placing, I think, on those golems. You did not want that other one coming down to this archer tower. So I'm pretty sure counting the tiles, but that was just perfect. Uh, everything opens up. Wall breakers are successful. It's going to drop a jump into that queen chamber. King is out a little bit early. Uh, that golem gets stuck on the wall because it's trying to get to the Tesla that's right in front of him. Um, finally, the whiz steps up and I believe gets it down just in time. Yeah. Um, but everything's going in, right? This queen also takes a bit of a walk. So you really wanted to get the queen in there to get this air defense. Uh, but she's just got to take that Tesla down once again. And then going to step up, take out the mortar. Oh, no, takes out the air defense first. So there go the two air defenses. Everything's looking good at this point. Um, to me, uh, this base, uh, pesky. Uh, air defenses as a core kind of still too close together. Uh, really easy to get uh, two of them and the defensive queen. Uh, all that's kind of partially because you have a centralized queen, which is a really difficult uh, style of base to make successful. Um, but Lalo is going fantastic at this point. Haste are all over the place. Uh, air defense number three goes down and air defense number four is shortly on the way because the rage is down. All the balloons are in on top. Bam, bam, bam. The expo is the only threat left on the field. Down it goes, just gotta swing back over to that mortar, but it is clean up time. Love the hound chilling over here too. Did he lure that hound into the archer trick? And I totally missed that. It's like 2.30 in the morning here guys, I'm working late, rushing my attacks in, just failed an attack. I just went off on a rant on my last, <laughs> my last uh, recap about to rage early and not let your queen die. What do I do? I, Freaking raids one second too late and my queen dies. Idiot. I blame my fatigue. Tree stars in the bag though for Mr. Big Dog. Nice job, buddy. Uh, what else I got here? Ten. Ten. Chad Fowler brings a sh uh, Shattered Goho. One thing I noticed, that, um, first of all, a ton of Shattered Goho is coming from Invicta uh, during this war. Um, mostly with a little bit of a queen walk like you're going to see here. Um, but when you bring a queen walk and Valks or queen charge and Valks, uh, you can be left pretty short on uh, hogs a lot of the time. So most guys will kind of use the queen walk to maybe create one side of a funnel or something like that and, or use a giant and then a golem so they can bring still a reasonable amount of Valks and still have like 14, 15 hogs left over. Uh, however, what I've noticed in a lot of these attacks, guys are really, really cutting it close on the back end hogs. Um, and just crazy the success they're getting with these uh, against these maxed out bases and stuff. So uh, see how this is going, right? Queen walks taking out a big, big section. What she did is help create that funnel on that side. Drops the wizards on the other side. Gold uh, collector is that little crumb for the Valks. They move right in. Jumps and let everything into this core. Look at these Teslas pop, and drops the poison for those uh, skellies or whatever that was. 
Tesla's pump and heel goes down, those Valks are going to walk in and just destroy that Tesla farm. Rage to bam. One shot's the clan castle. One shot's the queen. See you later. Everything's moving in. Those Valks are getting big, big, big value there because it's just the compactness of all those defenses in there. That Tesla farm was just great value. So he only needs the 11 hogs, right? Like 11 hogs is not many hogs. I definitely don't think I've ever brought less than maybe 14 maybe 12 once or twice um, with some loons instead, you know, but uh, yeah, it is clean up time. He's got Valks all over the fields. Expo over there is the last thing remaining. I think the hogs got enough uh, gas there to take it down. See you later base. Tree stars in the bag for Chad Fowla. <laughs> Chad Fowla. I like it. I like saying your name, Chad. Uh, what next? What next? 17, 17 LDP just kills it for us. His, uh, his three star ratio must be really, really high. Cause I definitely feel I see a lot of LDP, uh, replays in my time. Uh, so same kind of deal, right? Look at this five hogs, only back in units, five hogs. And we're going to walk through this lava wall, max nine with a little bit of a queen walk. An earthquakes, right? No poison spells here. So um, going to open up a chunk of the base. Also has a jump to open up another chunk of the base, right? Like Valks are just deadly. If you can manage to control them, keep them trying and keep them clumped together and control where they're going and heal them, you have huge success against Town Hall Knight. Um, now, the only downfall I would say to Valks is they're far less viable, I would say, at Town Hall 10. Um, multi infernos uh, in general really can ruin their day, and I'm not saying they're completely not used at Town Hall Ten, but they're definitely not as as viable. So, um, but adding in these queen charges, adding in things like that, learning to use your queen and heroes to take out uh, defensive structures, certain defensive structures, so you can mold the rest of your army un around getting those defensive structures down without using any troop space is so key to, to moving into Town Hall 10. And it, it's a crazy, crazy difference, if you ask me. Um, I guess maybe I don't remember the full transition from nine, or sorry, eight to nine initially because um, uh, that was just so long ago. I've been Town Hall 9, it seems forever. But um, now that I have an account that I'm transitioning into 10, it's it's a whole new ball game, right? So, uh, but what I've learned definitely is really, really learning to use your heroes to complete objectives. I know that sounds exactly like Town Hall 9, but um, more of a suicide hero style, right? Where the, the least troop space possible you can use to have your king take out an air defense and the queen is going to leave you in a huge, huge position to, to wreck the rest of the base. So um, obviously deployment, everything has a huge, huge factor. It's not just, hey, if I get this, then I three star. But uh, yeah, you know, Town Hall 10, I cannot, uh, cannot wait to until the game fully transitions into that stage because I, I don't think the, the war, obviously the war community is not there yet as a whole, right? Once we see, start seeing 30, 35 man wars, um, for I'm not saying there's not any clans that don't do this either, <laughs> so don't get me wrong on that. But um, it, you know what I'm saying is that if uh, all the clans were holding a town hall nine, well, everyone's slowly transitioning to ten. So eventually, there's going to be a lot more clans that are all town hall ten raids, right? With only four or five, six, maybe town hall elevens. You know, so Town Hall 9 eventually for a lot of clans is going to get phased out. It's not going to get phased out of the game. That stage is always going to be there for a lot of clans. But um, slowly but surely, you know, 9 is going to kind of get phased out to the bottom. And you'll only see a handful of 9s per war is, is my guess. You know, I don't know how long it's going to take. But um, no, no, i got one more for you here. i got two more for you. Two, two, Glenny boy. I love Glenn. Look at this base. <laughs> I want to show this base. Joe Dirt. <laughs> Joe Dirt. Joe Dirt. First of all, you should definitely check out One High Labs base building series. Um, I'm not saying this is a bad base. or well, I'm definitely not saying this is a bad base by any means. I'm just saying it's really risky, a lot of the things that you're doing. However, I love the creativity. It really makes an attacker think about 
well, what the heck are you going to do against this? Um, however, uh, once you kind of break it down into sections, because it's just laid out for you in sections, and you just create your, you're basically, you're basically creating zones, attack zones. So a guy just pick, takes four different sections of the base with certain units. Um, so exactly what Glenn does here, Glenn charges into this bottom compartment. It's going to take all this out with the queen walk and continue on over here. Takes out this as well with the queen walk and adds a couple, like a giant, I think, and some wizards to help out. Um, and then that's that whole bottom section. Uh, I think he sends in Valks, the Valks maybe at this top section with his king and a golem. Yep, there goes the golem. Uh, going to create a bit of a funnel, just drop some wizards to help out. So takes this out with those units and then sends in his 11 hogs <laughs> with these units, or in this section. So you kind of see how this plays out. It just, you know, there's just so many different ways you could attack this base and probably come away with a three star. It's like it's a chance of probability, right? You got to, Joe, I love, like I said, I love the creativity. You got to take away some of the probability factor here because, um, you know, there's a lot of ways you could attack this base. I think I would just probably cold blooded Lalo, send in kill squad and everything. One golem, my heroes, send it in here, take that out. Four lab hounds, right? Two, take it out. Reinforce, take it out. Reinforce, take it out. Blinds. Um, <laughs> I love how the compartment that Glenn chose to um, send his hogs in was one of the compartments with the DGB in it. So. <laughs> Some unlucky luck there, or some no luck there, unlucky luck, that didn't make any sense. Man, it's late. But that is three stars in the bag for Glenn. I love Glenn. Glenn's a beast. He's coming from the bottom, one of my bottom beasts. Um, one more. One more. Call it a day. Homestar. But kind of a cool little dragon attack I wanted to show you. Um, really just kind of wrecks, um, wrecks this base. Just overpowers it a little bit, but has no queen. So that's a big, big factor here. Um, the fact that it, you can still kind of come away. I, I mean, it's it's kind of a bully, but without a queen. Um, so these are some situations you might get in uh, when you are down a hero. And you step down to kind of try and take down one of their lower level, you know, still with Town Hall 8 defenses, level one expos, that kind of thing, lower level heroes. Um, you're going to want to take shots at bases like this when you're down a hero. Hopefully Supercell just fixes that soon. Let's please freaking hope. I mean, it's going to take gens out of their pockets. I have a feeling that's why it's taking so long to begin with. But it is what it is. Um, <laughs> but it would be really sweet if you could warp when your heroes are upgrading. Hopefully that will happen one day. But until then, uh, you got to come up with ways to do things without a queen, and that is not the easiest thing to do. Um, so he brings the dragons here because he knows it, with the king helping, um, drags are just going to go right in and funnel in on top of that queen. Down she goes with a couple puffs. In comes a lava hound. Um, you also see the sort of the zap quakes went down on the air defense on the outside. So there's only these two air defense. So the lava hound goes in, starts just kind of sprinkling balloons in. Second lava hound goes in. And third lava guy hound goes in, right? Like just a normal Lalo from this point. Between the zap, you know, just with no spells. Um, but the zap quakes and then the drags to take out the queen made a heat. Like there's no air, like this air defense is about to go down. There's still dragons down there doing tanking, the balloons all over. So absolutely smash this base without your queen home started really like this attack. It's always nice to show uh show queenless attacks. It's definitely not the easiest thing to do. I can't even farm without my freaking queen. Never mind war. A little bit of cleanup. Three stars in the bag for homie. G. All right. So, like I said, congrats on Inconceivables. Um, you know, we made it tough on us. You know, some good base designs, obviously. It is very, very, very uncharacteristic for this many nines to not be cleared by Invicta. It's been a long time since I've seen that happen, um, even with a handful of bully attacks in there as well. So, uh, tough one, uh, but we move forward, and that'll do it for tonight. I'm obviously very, very tired, so that does it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you bag that next tree star. Until then, I'm out.